We mostly talk about Earth's weather around here, but there is a massive storm happening on the sun right now. Our big illuminator already fired a giant gas ball right toward Earth. Luckily, the burst of radiation basically struck a glancing blow, but the danger is not over. Solar flares like this one could short-circuit satellites, interrupting television and Internet transmissions. They could also halt financial transactions, believe it or not. The flare could create giant power surges on Earth that would trigger blackouts over huge areas, and those are just some of the dangers. Let's bring in Michio Kaku. He is a physics professor at the City University of New York, also the author of the book Physics of the Future, and he knows just about everything. So the, the solar flares, uh, we have seen them. Um, we've got pictures of them, thankfully, from NASA. We can't really predict when they're going to erupt? No, but we dodged the bullet. This past weekend, a gigantic solar flare just grazed by the Earth, lighting up the skies over southern England. They saw the northern lights light up because of the aurora borealis. And that sunspot on the sun is still shooting solar flares at the Earth. The sun is taking pot shots at the Earth. The, the sun does rotate just like the Earth does. And I guess we were lucky, you said it was a glancing blow. Glancing it basically blow. wasn't aimed at us, mm -hmm. but it is kind of spinning more toward us. That's right. There's a sunspot eight times bigger than the Earth, but just opened up just a few days ago. And it's erupting by shooting solar flares like a rifle pointed at more or less the direction of the Earth. But because of the Earth's spin and because of the sun's rotation, it was a glancing blow. Otherwise, all hell would have broken loose over this past weekend. Because, I mean, talked about power outages, that kind of thing, communications outages because of satellites get fried. We're talking about some potentially very disruptive problems. Here. That's right. Our satellites are not reinforced. Many power plants don't have shielding around them, so they would short circuit. Financial transactions you mentioned, credit card transactions, commerce would come to a halt if that thing had hit us just this past weekend, and it's still firing away. Talk, talking about satellites, that NASA satellite that fell over the weekend, there's some speculation out there that, that NASA and the Defense Department really knew where this thing was going to land, but they kind of kept the mystery out there because they don't want our potential enemies to know how good we are at tracking some of these things. Well, there's a certain amount of black magic involved in understanding where a satellite falls. Because remember that we have solar flares that increases the atmosphere. Also, satellites skim the Earth like a rock, skimming over the atmosphere. Mm. And once it hits the atmosphere, it creates a shower of ions and it blacks out. We lose communication. We lose contact with the satellite as it roars into the atmosphere. So the you Earth. think that they are in the dark uh, as much as they I say? I personally they think they're clueless okay. as to precisely where that satellite fa fell. <laughs> Michio Kaku, always good to talk to you, except when you're talking about these solar storms. That's scary stuff. Thank you. Mm -hmm.